Hello everyone. Welcome to the presentation of the paper Evaluating Recommended Systems in Feature Model uh, Configuration. Uh, the paper was released at SPLC Conference uh, 2021, uh, where we happily contributed you to. Uh, my name is Matthias Uta, and I would like to guide you through the presentation in the next few minutes. I will switch now to the presentation, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah, contributors to the paper were uh, myself. Um, I am allocated at Siemens Energy AG and uh, a few researchers from Graz University of Technology, Alexander Felfernick, uh, Mr. Lee, uh, Mr. Popescu, Mr. Tran and uh, Dennis Hillic. Um, yeah, uh, the paper purpose was uh, to define a standardized matrix that can be used to evaluate the quality of uh, recommendations in feature model configuration contexts. We figured that in the last years, the um, at various different approaches for uh, evaluating recommendations uh, have been uh, used in various different papers, and uh, the comparability of those approaches is not yet 100% given since the standardization of these evaluating uh, evaluation matrix is not given. So we uh, have uh, into, we are introducing in this paper some standardization of these recommendation matrix. Um, we divided the uh, the feature model recommendation um, application in three different areas. The first one is the feature model analysis, where the uh, recommendation helps to identify faulty constraints within the knowledge base and to remove them. And uh, the um, main metric there is the class uh, classification accuracy of the identified uh, uh, conflicting constraints. Secondly, uh, the area of uh, recommendation during the configuration itself, the most popu uh, popular one, obviously, so the um, recommendation of features during the configuration to the user. And um, there we have uh, also identified several different matrix that can be standardized in relation to the relevant features that are recommended uh, to this consistency of uh, the features that are uh, recommended and the optimality of the uh, feature model uh, recommendation. Finally, we have uh, the area of uh, recon uh, configuration, which means the um, yeah, reconfiguration of uh, already finished or partly finished configurations, so the user changes some part of the configuration after the configuration has been finished and uh, due to the change of the feature by the user and um, yeah, uh, some other changes within the model might be necessary and the recommender should be able to recommend the correct features, changes. So, uh, and this is one of the metrics as well, and as well the consistency of the recommendation. Throughout uh, the, uh, the presentation, I would like to use the following example. It is uh, the uh, uh, survey software, um, and it includes uh, several different features. The first one is that is mandatory is the license. We have a basic license or um, advanced license that uh, uh, can be alternatively chosen by the user. Um, for, uh, furthermore, mandatory is the Q&A for the sur survey. Um, it can be either a basic Q&A or a multimedia Q&A. Um, opt uh, opt uh, optional features are A-B testing and statistics. Uh, on top of that, uh, of course, we have introduced some constraints. So the A-B testing requires the statistics and the A-B testing excludes the basic license, as well as the basic license excludes the multimedia uh, Q&A um, and vice versa. In the domain of feature model analysis, um, usually we apply test cases uh, to identify um, conflicting constraints within the knowledge base of the feature model. In our example here, we have the test case one, uh, which states that uh, feature three and feature four should be uh, included into the configuration, which means that uh, A-B testing and 
the basic license should be included. Obviously, this is conflicting with the excludes constraint here, and therefore no configuration can be identified uh, that um, um, uh, that uh, assures the um, valid validity of test case one. Uh, therefore, a corresponding diagnosis would be a delta excludes uh, F3 and F4, as I already stated, the excludes constraints and a diagnosis recommendation delta con is a set of cons configure, uh, constraints recommended by a, a diagnosis engine in that case obviously the rec uh, uh, recommendation would be to exclude f3 and f4 uh, the exclude constraint f3 and f4 and uh, therefore here in the, uh, our simple example um, the diagnosis and the recommendation uh, are the same um, this can then be measured in three different um, metrics, um, the diagnosis precision, the diagnosis recall, and the diagnosis minimality. Uh, all of them are obviously, since we have only one uh, recommendation and one diagnosis, uh, equal to 100%, um, whereas the diagnosis precision focuses on uh, the measurement in terms of the share of correct predictions, in that case, faulty constraints in relation to the total number of constraints predicted to be faulty. Uh, and the diagnosis recall is the share of correctly predicted faulty constraints compared to the total number of faulty constraints. Finally, the minimality uh, measures the minimality of changes necessary within the knowledge base um, if the changes that have been applied are minimal to resolve the conflict. In terms of feature model configuration, we have here uh, a recommendation of a complete or partial configuration. Our simple example here, we have um, a, rec a recommendation um, given uh, by the recommender, which includes F6 and F8, and the final uh, features that have been chosen by the user are F7 F and F, uh, F6. Therefore, we can also here apply a recommendation precision uh, matrix, which is um, the share of correctly predicted variables in relation to the total number of predicted variables. If we apply this to our simple example here, we see that uh, the recommendation included uh, F6, F7, and uh, excluded F8, whereas the final configuration chosen by the user included F6 and uh, F8 and excluded F7, which means that the um, configuration recommendation precision was in that case uh, uh, one divided by three, or 33%. Uh, an additional metric that can be applied is the mean absolute uh, uh, error. Uh, the mean absolute uh, error is the sum of wrongly predicted variables in relation to the total number of predicted variables. So in that case, uh, we have uh, wrongly predicted um, the F7 value and the F8 value. So the total mean F or the mean absolute error is in that case in our example, uh, 2 divided by 3, or 66%. Um, we have introduced in the paper a further uh, evaluation metrics in the domain of feature model configuration for um, to yeah, have a look on these uh, formulas. Please have a closer look uh, in the paper itself, and I hope you enjoyed to read it. In the domain of uh, feature model reconfiguration, we have uh, here an example that uh, shows a very basic um, configuration that has originally been chosen by the user. So uh, the original configuration includes the license and the, ba and the basic license, as well as a basic Q&A and nothing else. Um, after the configuration was finished, the user now has the reconfiguration A dash, um, which includes now, uh, in instead of the basic Q&A, the multimedia Q&A. And um, here this leads to the fact that uh, the license and the, and the QA uh, F6 are not affected by the reconfiguration, but um, 
the recommendation for the reconfiguration has to be introduced, which means that the license has to be changed from basic to advanced since multimedia Q&A and basic license are excluding each other. If we want uh, to um, introduce here again evaluation or recommendation uh, metrics and, uh, and there uh, we can, for instance, use the reconfiguration recall, which is uh, the share of correctly predicted reconfiguration variables compared to the total number of reconfiguration variables. Um, yeah, in our uh, example, if we recommend uh, the F2 uh, variable uh, due to the fact that we have to re the re uh, reconfiguration uh, necessity of uh, including F8, we have, have of course a recall of uh, 100% since this is the correct um, reconfiguration to uh, assure a consistent um, configuration again. Another um, metrics that can be applied is the reconfiguration consistency. Um, the reconfiguration consistency is the share of consistent reconfiguration recommendations uh, compared to the total number of reconfigura uh, reconfiguration provided by the recommender. So if more than only one uh, reconfiguration um, recommendation was provided by the recommender, we can measure how many of these reconfiguration um, recommendations were consistent, consistent with the knowledge base of the feature model. Again, also here we have uh, introduced the uh, further evaluation matrix that are can be found within the paper and um, I hope you enjoy to read it. With that I would like to thank you for your attention. If you have questions please um, yeah, let us know, contact us. Uh, we are the um, email address you can find my uh, email address right here or within the paper everybody else is also uh, findable i hope you enjoyed presentation and i hope uh, to have good um yeah discussions uh, during the conference and later on as well have a nice day and goodbye <laughs>